Theaters and performance halls across the nation and North Country, including the Strand Center Theater in Plattsburgh, have closed down during the coronavirus crisis, and no one knows for sure for how long. But for many musicians and performers, the show must go on. And as our producer Michael Hansen shows us, they are online. It's definitely a difficult time to be a theater. There's no revenue, everything's completely shut down and we don't know how long it's gonna last. On top of that, uh, there's a growing sentiment of just being, people just being scared of large gatherings in general. So even once uh, we might be past the crux of the virus, uh, there's real concern about how quickly people are going to wanna to come and sit in a theater. Justin Stearns, who was a, a former board member, contacted me right as this all started happening, uh, asking if he could go and play a show at the piano at the Strand, and we uh, put it on Facebook Live. I actually participated in that one with him. After that first one, it just started growing, and uh, it became apparent that this was gonna last a while. We also, the day after that first one is when the theater officially got shut. Uh, so we were brainstorming on ideas of how to keep presenting things and the best thing was to have everyone record things from home and curate some shows ourselves. The response has been great. Uh, the first one we did had over 6,000 views. It was kind of crazy. That's what uh, sparked the inspiration to keep doing these. So our second one were old friends from Plattsburgh, Tim Collins and Kelly Miller, uh, who are currently under quarantine in Munich and Madrid, respectively. Uh, that one was awesome to see. Uh, we played Adirondack Jazz Orchestra the following week. That was last weekend. Tonight, actually, we have Giovannino Bucci, Will Pellerin and Kevin Sabrin, all local singer-songwriters. Uh, Will lives in Nashville now, but they all sent us about uh, eight pieces a piece. Next weekend is gonna be a big blowout. Plattsburgh Blues and Jazz has uh, eight artists from around the world, Grammy nominations, all, you name it. Uh, their whole roster of people have sent things to them that they are, we're currently working on editing that one down and that'll be the show for next Saturday. We're hoping that by doing them every Saturday at 7 p.m. that we will start to train the public a little bit to, uh, to look forward to it at the end of the week. Uh, they will be archived on Facebook for a period of time depending upon the artists uh, and our arrangements with them anywhere from 30 to 60 days, maybe more permanently. Uh, every day seems to be a new day in this industry, so we're, we're rolling with the punches. We're learning how to edit video in mass. We're learning the new back end of the creator suite on Facebook and uh, doing everything we can to continue to share. We are paying our artists during this time, uh, re relying on donations to help support that, our own operating funds, uh, but we want to respect the fact that everyone, the technicians, the artists, everyone deserves to be making the living that they were expecting, doing what it is they love to do. The first thing that everyone does amidst a crisis is turn to their artist friends. They want entertainment, they want to escape, you know, get lost in a different world for a minute. So to share this with the community does help people. Uh, we hope it's helping people. And frankly, we hope that when we're back online, we continue to be able to share our mission, which is to uh, engage, enrich, and energize through the arts. Mm -hmm.